A vast majority of China's citizens identify as being Han Chinese, which is a specific ethnicity. But the government recognizes some 50 other ethnic minorities within the country's borders. Some of them have made trouble, are in, in, are in trouble, like the Uyghurs and the Tibetans. Others have proven themselves excellent members of the Chinese society, such as the Hui and the Duang. In this article, I want to focus on a specific ethnic minority in the latter category, a model minority, so to say, the Chinese Koreans. So what are the Chinese Koreans? You might ask, what does that mean? Well, the literal definition is a racial or ethnic Korean who identify as Chinese and are citizens of the Chinese nation rather than that of Korea, uh, North or South. Kind of like the Korean Americans in America, except in China. There are about 1.9 million ethnic Koreans in China, which makes China host to one of the largest groups of Koreans outside of Korea itself. So how did the Chinese Koreans uh, come to be? This large Chinese Korean diaspora exists as a quirk of history. They immigrated to the Chinese border region of Gando, then governed by the Qing dynasty, after a famine. There they settled in the area and expanded. This is illegal immigration, and the Chinese got nervous then that this large population could be leveraged into territorial losses. After the 1909 uh, Gando Agreement between the Qing and, the, and then Japan-governed Korea was signed, China agreed to recognize these illegals as Chinese subjects. They form the basis of China's Chinese-Korean population today. The Chinese Koreans occupy an interesting place in history and society. They were, understandably so, fervently anti-Japanese and so played a big part in the resistance against Japanese imperialism during the Second Sino-Japanese War. And then they helped the Chinese Communist Party defeat the Kuomintang and establish the People's Republic of China. Yet at the same time, they remain an ethnic minority population living very close to an independent country governed by those of their own race. So there is a potential case of split loyalties. So how are the Chinese Koreans perceived in China? The way the Communist Party decided to handle these Yanbian uh, Koreans with their interesting past and, but potential latent conflicts is to hold them up as a model of the party's minority race policies. They are essentially the model minority in China, an example of loyalty towards government policy as well as exemplars of hard work and moral values. Unlike with the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, their feelings towards their nation are not questioned. Yet at the same time, Chinese Koreans often experience difficulties as a minority race in their own country. The Chinese Koreans, in general, live in China's northeast, where economic progress is not as dynamic and the specter of communism and collectivization lingers. They tend to be poorer than the Han majority, though they do better when compared to other ethnic minorities. Ethnic minorities in China tend to struggle to get ahead because they often do not start out with the established business networks and have a harder time creating one of their own. Rather, they are mostly relegated to a career of working with other companies run by their own race. Sort of a ghettoization, so to say. So how are the Chinese Koreans perceived in, you know, South Korea? There is a forgettable South Korean movie recently released called Steel Rain. It's a geopolitical thriller in which a North Korean army attempts a coup and our heroes in South Korea try to deal with the situation. Anyway, the main protagonist gets into an argument with a party official in China about the situation. I'm not familiar with the Korean language, but I can, could tell that the guy had a distinctly different accent of Korean than the main protagonist. But he looked Korean. And then the following exchange. The Korean official says, we Koreans will have no choice but to be dragged into the Cold War system once again. Dot dot dot, you're Korean too. And the Chinese official says, so what? Since when did you Korean people treat us as brothers? Don't you folks only consider the rich ones as your brothers? Ethnically, ethnically I am Korean, but I consider myself 100% Chinese. I find this exchange pretty interesting because it's corroborated in some of the research. As the Chinese Koreans tend to be poorer than those in developed South Korea, they have an incentive to go over to South Korea to find some work and money to send back home. They can earn some 10 times more in South Korea than they do in China. The South Korean government has, on paper, policies that target and encourage the return of overseas Koreans to South Korea. But in practice, these policies target well-educated English-speaking Korean Americans rather than the Chinese-speaking Chinese Koreans. So these Chinese Koreans are often treated unfairly and seen as illegal immigrants. I find this rather backwards as South Koreans barely procreate and their country needs working bodies at their citizens' age. So how does the Chinese Korean experience intertwine with the Asian American one? I started reading more into the life of the Chinese Koreans because of the phrase model minority. Chinese Koreans add an interesting twist to the whole matter. The identities of who are the minorities and the majorities get swapped around. Yet the issues that the individuals grapple with remain the same. For both individuals of Asian Americans and Chinese Koreans, they struggle with their dual identity of adapting to a nation in which they look, sound, and act different than the racial majority. They have to reconcile with the existence of their racial motherland and to, do, and to what extent do they owe it, quote unquote, anything. Yet at the same time, they are proud patriots and feel deep loyalty towards their adopted nation. 
But the fact is that they are racially different from the majority, and thus have to work harder to prove that either they deserve to belong, or that they can perform up to snuff. Even the supposedly positive stereotypes can irritate. In China, to have a Korean upbringing, quote-unquote, is to have certain, quote-unquote, Korean values, like discipline, respect, honesty, that the mainstream believe are missing in the Han majority. I found this particular point slightly ironic. Yet at the same time, this is a stereotype, and even as one made with good intentions, it sw separates out the Korean Chinese as not being full Chinese. Korean Chinese do not feel they are full participants in the mainstream society, economically, culturally, or otherwise. And this is something that the Asian American community can sympathize with. 